Today, I'm gonna to share with you 10 useful plugins in After Effects, which I've divided in two categories, free and paid. Although half the plugins on this list need to be paid for, they are well worth it as they will save you time by increasing your work speed, improve your lifespan by lowering your efforts, and make it possible to do things that would otherwise be impossible in vanilla After Effects. Most of the plugins we're gonna be talking about today relate to motion design, which is not to say that they have no use for other types of work, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a different video for plugins that have helped me the most for my visual effects work. Starting with the first free plugin on today's list, FX Console by Video Copilot. This one may not be the sexiest one on the list, but it's one of those that makes working with After Effects a pure joy. With it, you can quickly search and add any effects to your layers, and for even more speed, you can pin your favorite effects, as well as map up to nine effects to your keyboard. Apart from managing your effects, it also comes with a dockable panel that helps manage your work progress. You can take snapshots of your comp and then view them in a gallery right inside of After Effects so you can save different iterations of your work and then compare them. Alternatively, you can export your snapshots in either PNG or JPEG, or even copy to clipboard to quickly share them with your team or client. It might not seem like much as it helps you save a few seconds here and there, but with time that all adds up, so overall it's a great efficiency booster. You can get FX Console for free at videocopilot.net. Number two, Reposition Anchor Point by Nap. This one is very straightforward as it allows you to adjust the anchor point of a single layer or multiple layers by selecting them, choosing the spot you want to ship the anchor points to, and clicking reposition. You can get this plugin at aescripts.com. Number three, also for free, text border by plugin everything. It creates a custom border that fits your text size and updates automatically. You can then customize the expansion and tweak the width and height individually, around edges, give them a solid or gradient fill, add dashes, or don't. It's compatible with built-in text animation presets in different paragraph modes, and it also supports motion blur. This saves me time when creating title graphics or lower thirds where I might need a text border, and instead of fiddling around with independent shapes, I can have this plugin do all the hard work for me. There is also the Textbox 2 plugin with similar features, which allows you to get a filled in box instead around your live text, but that one you need to pay for. You can get the Text Border plugin for free at PluginEverything.com, whereas the Textbox 2 plugin costs 30 cha -ching. Number 4, Ease Copy by Mike Overbeck. It's this very simple dockable panel that allows you to copy the easing and value of keyframes and paste them to other keyframes. So if you often use the graph editor, then this should be very helpful in keeping your animations consistent. Last free plugin on the list is Color Vibrance by Video Copilot. Sometimes when I design elements such as this spiral zoom effect from a previous tutorial where I don't necessarily have a final look in mind, I leave everything in grayscale and then add color afterwards with color vibrance as it makes it very easy to get hot colorization. I'm then able to change the color and modify other settings to quickly try out different looks. You can get it for free at videocopilot.net. I would suggest you try out each one of the aforementioned plugins because there's really no downside seeing as they're all free and if they don't fit your workflow, you can always uninstall them. But either way, consider supporting the creators if you're able to, because these people put a lot of work into making something useful for all of us to benefit from, while not even putting up a paywall. So, massive respect. Before we move on to the paid plugins, I wanna take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato provides a huge library of creative assets such as graphic elements and templates, stock footage, music, sound effects, fonts, and much more. On top of that, it offers unlimited downloads with an affordable subscription. So if you're interested, I have provided a link down below in the description, which will take you to their website. And of course, if you do decide to register, I get to earn a commission. Moving on to the paid plugins, at number 6, Overlord by Battleaxe. This is one of those plugins that I really can't work without at this point, as it allows for seamless transferring of layers between Illustrator and After Effects. Sure, you can import AI files and set them up that way, but Overlord gives you the flexibility of pushing layers back and forth while retaining hierarchy and names. You can get Overlord for $45 at battleaxe.co. 
7. Flow by Zach Lovett and Render Tom. Much like Ease Copy, Flow also has to do with the graph editor as it brings an easy to use and beautiful interface to After Effects for customizing animation curves without needing to touch the graph editor. You can save curve presets that you can apply to multiple layers at once with a click of a button and even build a library of your favorite curves to share with other animators on a project. You can get Flow for $30 at aescripts.com. Deep Glow by Plugin Everything. For glow effects, I use this plugin as it generates a beautiful, physically accurate glow. It makes use of your GPU for maximum speed. It has a bunch of features such as variable aspect ratio, chromatic aberration, quality control for stylized looks, etc. You can somewhat achieve similar results by stacking multiple copies of the built-in glow effect, but that gets very slow very fast whenever you want to make changes. You can get Deep Glow for $50 at PluginEverything.com. Another absolute banger, Element 3D by Video Copilot. For the longest time, this plugin was my go-to for any 3D work. It makes it possible to do 3D motion design or visual effects work right inside of After Effects by importing models, animation sequences and materials, creating 3D titles by using live text, generating ray trace shadows, and more with extremely high performance. Of course, it's not as fully fleshed compared to a dedicated 3D software, but you'd be surprised what you can achieve with it, especially if you pair it up with an external 3D software. There are additional packs of 3D models, textures, and materials available at videocopilot.net, whereas a standalone Element 3D license costs $200. Last paid plugin on the list is Trapcode Particular by Red Giant. Trapcode Particular allows us to create 3D particle effects and simulate real-world physics for use in both motion design and visual effects. You can create fire, water, smoke, snow, and other organic effects. It comes with a wide variety of presets that you can customize according to your needs. Hands down, I would say it is the most powerful particle system I've ever used in After Effects. Regarding the cost though, I was a bit bummed out to see that Red Giant no longer offers Trapcode Particular as a standalone purchase. You can either get the full Trapcode suite with a one-time payment of a whopping $1,150 or get access to the whole Red Giant suite with a monthly or yearly subscription. Because of this, I did some digging and found out about this other similarly powerful plugin called Stardust by Superluminal, which apparently is a node-based particle system and costs $250 for a one-time payment. Keep in mind, third-party tools are necessary for you to be able to create your projects in After Effects, so I don't want this video to discourage you in any way, as I'm aware that some of them have pretty hefty price tags. On the contrary, I only want to share tools that have helped me by sparing my time and sanity so they can potentially help you as well. On that note, I want to thank all of you who have sent donations through my Gumroad page for project files from previous videos and tutorials. They mostly use the pay what you want system so you can grab them for free with the option of supporting the channel. Alright guys, that was all for today's video so thanks for watching and being patient all the way through and I'll see you next time. Peace out.